This is stunning. We're out on a very different adventure this weekend. We're up in Bonnie, Scotland, and we're van camping. Is that it? Yeah, is that, is that okay? Hi everyone. <laughs> Today, through the oval window. <laughs> We've just stopped off around Glencoe to check out these gorgeous mountains. We've got about another 20 minute drive up to Fort William, and that's gonna be home for the night. Today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. If you need a website, head over to squarespace.com forward slash Paul Messner for a free trial. This evening we're stopping in Glen Nevis campsite. We're literally parked up in the shadow of Ben Nevis Mountain. So the boss is doing supper tonight. What we got with it? Uh, steak, asparagus and mushrooms. We've been driving for about eight or nine hours, so we picked the camper van up in Penrith. The sun had already set when we got here, so we've not really had much chance to look around yet. I've brought all the essentials with us. Fridge full of punk. And gin. Wonder we'll over drinking that. Where are we going tomorrow? We are heading up to Sky tomorrow. Yeah, there's not enough room in the vegetables. Can't beat a bit of romance in the back of a van, can you? <laughs> I think I might keep her. Yeah. Love you. Are you going to get breakfast on while I pop up to the summit? So the highest mountain in the UK, somewhere over there, Ben Nevis. We're not going to be climbing that one today. We're going to shoot off pretty early and head up to the Isle of Skye. We're going to hang about here a little bit and see if we can get a sunrise. This is one of the many places where you just have to pull over and admire the views. Haven't got a clue where we are, but we're somewhere along the coast. Just mountain after mountain here. Absolutely stunning. What do you reckon? It's beautiful, isn't it? So we finally rocked up on the Isle of Skye. Got here about 2 p.m. Some of the scenery on the way in here was out of this world. We stopped off in Portree for a spot of lunch in a greenhouse of all places, so that's a first for me. And we've parked up so we can explore some of this stunning coastline. What a fantastic viewpoint this is. Doesn't matter which side you look from. The views are epic.
we've just missed the sunset you can see from the top of the hill and then when we've got here it's just dipped below the horizon so eventually we found somewhere to spend the night last night we hooked up on a campsite but tonight it's going to be the first time trying wild camping in a camper van Wasn't a bad first night. Very quiet. Must have been only one or two cars passed by all night. The view's not too shabby either. Although it's a little bit breezier today. The boss is just getting breakfast on the go. But this looks awesome when the tide's in. So we're back in mainland Scotland now. Just stopped off for a quick coffee at Eileen Donnan Castle. Probably pronounced that wrong. Is she gonna fall? Not got the right shoes on for this. quick thank you to today's sponsor Squarespace so this week on my Squarespace website I've added a couple of new products my favorite is definitely the leave no trace t-shirt it was really easy to upload the photos add all the text and then add all the different size options etc creating an online shop really is that easy to do so if you need a website head over to squarespace.com forward slash Paul Messner where you'll get a totally free trial and you'll get 10% off your first purchase. Look at those clouds. All of the mountains seem massive up here. This is going to be the last night of our little trip. We'll have a stunning view out of the van in the morning. We're in a hidden gem of a campsite in Glencoe. Right next to the river. And in the shadow of the mountains. I just thought I haven't given you a tour of the van yet. So we've hired the van for a few nights from Dinky Campers in Penrith. Let's get to point. Because you don't okay. know if you don't point at it. <laughs> look, okay. look. If you don't point it. Your viewers won't know where we hide it from. That's <laughs> inside the van. I was going to beep. Right, wait a second. <laughs> a bit messy, as you can see. It's got one of those swivel round chairs. Gives you, you know, your table for two. Little fridge. Uh, stuff falling out of the cupboards, just like at home. Nosy neighbours. Fully fitted kitchen, so we've got a sink and tap. Oh. Double hob. And we've got a healthy stash of punk. There's a table that fits on here. And then when it's bedtime, this bed just slides out. I'm not going to do that because all the bedding will fall out. But it's really clever stuff. Give it me back! 
So one thing that we've learned from this trip is that you have to pack very light. Although there is plenty of storage options. Make sure you point that out just in case there's not <laughs> what the storage option is. Storage. <laughs> storage. <laughs> Has there ever been a murder on YouTube? <laughs> I wish I'd come on my own. As I was saying, although there is plenty of storage, you, know, you do end up moving stuff about. So a pile of coats goes from there to there. It's all about being efficient and we're not very efficient yet. So. I've packed in the bag, it's yeah. big for three days. So in van camping, you've got to be just as efficient with your gear as you have with regular camping when you've got stuff in your rucksack. Here comes Gandalf. Let's have a look at your stick. Go as you want. Like Nanny McPhee. Is that what it is? Yeah. Some things you're never too old to do. Ah. And messing about on rocks is one of them. I'm hoping to get a good photo from this. Oh. Joe puts more effort into it than me. Should I go back and get another fizz? Yes, yeah, I've got the on. Yeah. Someone's going to critique me though on how to cut onions yeah. properly. <laughs> I don't like it when we cook. Because there'll be someone out there telling me I've done it wrong. I've cut onions for years and now I feel like I'm under pressure. I cut an onion well. <laughs> suppose as a token gesture I better show you a tent there you go don't say I never do it for you well, not I have to be careful because it gets all that looks awesome cheers you surpassed yourself darling I don't get a chance to get cold. I'm going to knock this back in about 15 seconds. So making the beds really straightforward. Pull it out. Pull this out. Roll back the mattress. We've already got the bed in laid out. So we'll see you tomorrow. If the van door opened from the inside, this would be perfect this morning. You reckon for that for bedroom window? Does it get any better than this? That's my line. <laughs> We've really enjoyed our first little van life adventure. And we've learnt quite a few things along the way. Next time we'll have to manage the space better and not bring as much stuff. Although the roof box has helped quite a bit. I think we bit off a little bit more than we can chew by heading up to Sky 
when we're only doing three days. Um, we spent a lot of time on the road and not as much time as we would have liked exploring the places that we've visited. We've also confirmed that Scotland is an incredibly beautiful country. So if you've never been before, you should definitely check it out. Hope you've enjoyed this video and with a bit of luck you might see us on a few more van camping trips.